Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x4 tent and we've got another unboxing video. These are always fun. Uh, this one is from Amazon. Uh, you can pick this up on my Amazon store. It's actually uh, from Spider Farmer, uh, which is a, a fairly new uh, light company that's been uh, coming up recently uh, as far as I've seen. Um, here and there they're uh, starting to do a little bit of a social media push and whatnot uh, they uh, sent this light over to uh, take a look at for you guys to check out I got all the uh, meters and everything here so let's uh, let's bust into this box and uh, and see what's inside all right I've got my scissors here get into this box see what we got going As usual, all the stuff from Amazon, always well packed. Quick shipping. Alright, so now we're to the main Spider Farmer box. So let me get the, uh, the other box out of the way and uh, we'll get into this one here. Alright, here we are. I think this is going to be easiest to open from the, uh, the top side here, so let's... Uh, Try to pop this open. Let's see what's in the box. All right, so we're gonna have to take the whole the whole thing out in one one motion here, and one-handed. There we go. We'll get that out of the way. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that, that's nice, let's pull this out here, alright, so this is what is in the box, looks like we got some, some plant tags, that is something I have never received with the grow light, so I mean hey, innovative and new. That's pretty cool actually. I've never gotten that before. And then we've got our other accessory pack here. We'll bust into that. It looks like just the uh, the hanging equipment. They got a good variety of hanging equipment which is excellent. I like that. You got the rope ratchets and the, uh, the regular hanger. Awesome. Oh wow. Really? Measuring tape? So I guess you can measure the height that you want it off your canopy. Or if you want to measure your waistline, I guess. 60 inches. <laughs> that, that is crazy awesome. I could actually use one of these for many, many different uses. Way cool. Cool. I'll take it. Freebies. Awesome. Take a look here. No dust or anything on it. No particles. Let's flip this sucker over. Bam! Spider Farmer. That is a nice looking light, to be quite honest. It's basically just a quantum board. This is the uh, model SF1000 uh, Spider Farmer. It's got the Meanwell driver. It's got the uh, Samsung LM301B chips. Get a good look at that. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty killer. It's got this uh, like waterproof coating on it. You can see here that shine. Really nice looking board. And they've covered up, this is cool too, 
You know, usually you have uh, the exposed wires here. They've actually covered up the wires completely. Like a lot of times on these uh, DIY quantum boards, you'll just have bare exposed wires and solder connections under here. So this is actually like very, very water resistant, if not waterproof. So let's go ahead and set this back down here. We'll take a look at the driver for you guys. This is the driver info that it comes with out of the box. Meanwhile driver, excellent, excellent driver. Like everything about this light uh, is very high quality. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what this sucker can do under the meters. And I'm, I'm planning on more than likely using this light to replace the, uh, the grow blue, the old grow blue blue light in my, uh, my seedling and clone area. Because this is only going to consume uh, supposedly about 100 watts. We're going to test that here with the, uh, the watt meter. And then we've got the par meter, we've got the heat, and everything here so we can, uh, we can check it out. Let's go ahead and uh, get this hooked up and get some power to it. And uh, we will see what, uh, what we see. All right, we've got it all hung up and everything. Super easy to hook up, actually. This thing is a cinch. All you do is hook up your two uh, clips here, your two clips here, and then you got your rope ratchets, and then you hook it to another grow light. <laughs> So I went ahead and hung this one from the uh, the SP250 that's uh, in this tent. And uh, so yeah, that works really well. That's why I like rope ratchets. Like you can hang it from anything. Like this, this setup with this light and they give you everything that you need. Like that's pretty cool. I like that. And now let's take a look at the, uh, the bottom side of the light. So you can take a look at the, uh, the diodes in action here. Now what we've got here is a mix of uh, 3000K and 5000K and then mixed in uh, is supposed to be 660, 760 and IR supposedly. I don't, I don't know if I see any IR though. Oh wait, right there. Never mind, I do. That one right there is likely going to be the IR looks like it's basically out compared to the rest of them and it will not show up to the naked eye so if you look at it it will look like it's out just because uh, uh, I'm showing it on the camera here you can you can see it but yeah pretty good array of, uh, of colors here looks good looks good so let's flip back to the top side here and let's go to the meter uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, the tape measure. That's going to work out really well that they provided for us, so kick ass. I've uh, set it up so that it's spaced dead center in the middle here. So we've got a foot this way and a foot this way, because uh, I believe this is probably going to work best in a two foot by two foot area. So let's uh, check that out and see where our readings, at, readings are at uh, in the dead center here. Actually, before we do that, I forgot. I gotta tell you what uh, what height we're at here. So let's pull out the uh, the other tape measure here, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this at 16, a little over 16 inches, uh, 16 and a quarter or so. That's about where I tested the uh, the most recent um, V3 pucks from Rapid LED. So that's where I'm gonna hit this one here. And so let's uh, go ahead and hit it. Where are we at here? 439. Dead center, 439. So let's go ahead and take it all the way out to the edge. Now I don't have any side reflection at this point. So it's really just relying on the light itself. So 221, 222, just fine for veg. This is going to be my veg light. So let's go ahead and swing over to the other side. Go to the 24 inch mark. Yep, 
right on 202, 203. Now let's go ahead and get back to center and then we'll go to this edge here. Now this edge is going to have a uh, reflection. So on this edge we're looking at 317. So if you actually have a 2x2 two two tent that you're putting this in, you're going to get higher numbers on the edges than what I'm getting here as far as the, uh, the edges on this side and this side go. So let's go ahead and check this one back here. This one always doesn't like to stand up back here. There we go. That at least gives some reflection. And then this one I'm going to have to go from above. Let's see if I can see it. There we go. 305, 306. So yeah, you're looking at, at quite a bit better if you get that side reflection. That's, uh, that's actually really nice. So this thing puts out some uh, some really nice numbers. You could flower with this in a 2x2 two two, technically. Like you, 440, I guarantee you're going to produce some buds. Like you're going to have pretty fat nuggets all the way to probably like a 1 foot by 1 foot range really. Around 400 it starts to fall off. You get below that and you get a little bit, a little bit more airy buds. So yeah, if you're flowering in a in a uh, two by two, I think this will do actually pretty well. And if you're using this for veg, it says on the site that it can go up to a three by three, and uh, I would really believe it. To be honest, you could put it a little bit higher, run it at uh, 18 or 20 inches, and uh, you would get you would get plenty of coverage out of it. You only need a, a couple hundred, a couple hundred micromoles there. All right, so let's hit this with the uh, the heat gun here. see where we're at see now when you measure it here it says it's 92 that's because this surface doesn't really reflect for the heat gun that well so let's take it over to the label here and we'll get an accurate reading or at least a more accurate reading uh, we're looking at 129 degrees it's been on for about 45 minutes or so it's fairly warmed up so 129 we're looking at which is decent and then the driver, 121. So, I mean, it's putting out a decent amount of heat. Just like any of these uh, fanless units, they're going to heat up. That's what they do. They've got all this metal to, uh, to absorb the heat so that it can pull it off of the, uh, the LEDs to keep them a little bit cooler uh, running temperature. So that's, they're doing their job. A lot of people say, oh, that's really hot. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to want to set anything on top of it. That's pretty obvious. And if you'd like, you can, you can put a fan on it. It's only going to help. You can uh, add uh, active cooling to these lights, and it's only going to make them last longer because it's going to make them run cooler. So don't be afraid to put a fan, a clip fan in here, blowing on it or anything like that. You want to make sure that you have really great ventilation in your tent. That's super important as well. Uh, without the great ventilation, you are not going to have any sort of um, active cooling at all in here to do anything. I mean, if you don't have, like I've got my ventilation up there with a 4-inch uh, fan going out, and if you don't have anything sucking the hot air out, because it's going to rise up, you need to suck all that air out, and you want cool air coming in from the bottom. If you don't have all that going on, this, this is not going to stay cool at all. It's going to heat up a lot. It's going to lower the lifespan of it. And it's just uh, something that you don't want to do. you got to take care of your LEDs. you got to have good ventilation no matter what. Don't listen to people that say that you don't need ventilation for LEDs or anything like that. Or it won't create any heat. It creates power. Or it's using power. So it's going to create heat. And speaking of using power, let's take a look up here. It's warmed up now, so 92.4, watts. So really, really low wattage. This is going to be a great light for a small space. Very low wattage, uh, low consumption, low power consumption, so it's going to be cheap to run, and very, very efficient output for the power consumption. So. This is a really great light. I really, uh, I'm a fan of this one so far. But uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it besides 
checking out the wattage. You know, I'm not going to forget about that. See where we're at. This is after about 35, 40 minutes worth of use. Sitting at 92.4. It was at about 94 for a little bit, and it just keeps getting lower and lower as it gets into the groove here. 92.4, 92.5. So it says 100 watts on the site. I'm measuring 92 at the wall. So this is not taking very much power and it's putting out quite a bit. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to Spider Farmer for sending out this awesome little light. And you can uh, check it out in the link below on my Amazon store. It will be on sale there if you would like to try it out for yourself. But uh, I, that's pretty much it uh, for this video guys. Until next time, happy growing.